There it is, one rebuilt fuel injection pump for the backhoe. Notice the shaft on the right side of the injector pump with the threaded end. This gets inserted from the back of the backhoe through a hole and meshes with drive gears from the crankshaft. Jeffrey, my head mechanic, is over here getting ready to put it back in place. I've got to take a cover plate off. And with the cover plate off, the injector pump shaft is inserted through this hole from the back. And then a nut is attached from the front. So what is that? Mm -hmm. This uh, this cover this cover plate on. Uh -uh. I guess this is a timing gear or something. Anyway, this is the gear that drives the injector pump, and it's driven off of the main crank case gear. I guess there's an idler gear here or something in the crank shaft down here. Mm -hmm. So being able to access this nut that holds the drive gear tight against the injector shaft is the reason why we had to remove the radiator and front cowling from the backhoe. With all that stuff in place, there was no way to remove the cover plate and access the nut in order to release the injector pump. There are bolts on the left hand side that secure the pump housing to the engine. The bolt holes are slotted so that the pump housing can be rotated just a bit around the axis of the drive shaft so that the pump injection timing can be set properly. Jeffrey set these timing marks so that they are in the same position as they were when we took the pump off at the start of the project. Now the rest of the bolts need to be tightened, and some of them are kind of difficult to get to. Now for the one laying back. That's probably good. Okay. Turn this on there. Alright, so we're gonna take that off and put a little bit of thread blocker on it. Since it spins around and around. All right, that's probably good. I don't remember it being on there super, super tight. Looks like the gears are lined up nicely. And so that's on there. Yep. Okay, so now we can put the cover back on.
Okay, now it's time to connect the fluid lines. These are the lines that go from the output of the fuel injection pump to the injectors that are uh, above the cylinders on the engine. Up to the injectors that are in the engine block, or not in the block, in the head. Yep. So previously, when the engine would turn over, no fuel would come out of these points. So I like the pump was not making fuel come out the injection ports going to the inject injection lines. So we're hoping the rebuild solves that problem because we're totally mystified otherwise. So I'll loosen these up before we turn it over. Yeah, that would be the first thing to do is see if we can get fuel out of uh, these uh, Yeah, the first thing ports. to do is to let fuel drain out of everything. This is the primary way, way fuel comes in. And there's a, a pump in here. Actually, there's a pump here that sends fuel through the whole unit, circulates it around. Then in here, there's a high pressure pump. Like the fuel goes into the body and comes back to the high pressure pump and that pushes it out each line at the right time to um, to make the, the engine go round. That's the pin for the throttle linkage going in. Yep. Hook up the throttle return spring. So we'll hook that back up. So we'll hook that up once we get the rest of it back together. Yeah, it was hooked up to this thing out here. Okay. All right, so I think at this point, what we can do is turn the fuel on and spew a bunch of fuel around and get most of the air out of this thing. Is that a fuel return from the engine? Yeah, I think it's some sort of Fuel return, fuel recirculation kind of thing. Okay, trying to find the right wrench again. Uh, 9 sixteenths. So, these are 13 millimeter. This is 7 sixteenths and this is 9 sixteenths. Uh -huh. Is that? The radiator back in position so we can turn the engine over without dumping all the water in the engine block out all over the road. Uh, but uh, we're going to have to take it out again to do the fan shroud and also to use a pressure washer on the front of this radiator. It's just a mess with caked on uh, dirt and mud. But we would like to test to see if uh, our fuel injector solution is working. So just sort of do some temporary connections here and, and get get stuff back together a little bit. Yeah, should be okay. Hmm. I, I can see how some of those fan shrouds were made. Uh -huh. It would be problematic trying to hook them onto this. Yeah. There's not a lot of room here to no. do stuff with. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Did you order that thing up already? No, no. I, I, we needed to look at stuff and we we're going to look at it tonight. Okay, good. Yeah, let's... Because it actually hooks up to the side of it here. Okay. And yeah, it hooks up to the side here. All right, I'd like to see if this injector is going to work. Yeah, okay, so I think at this point we could turn the engine over without it doing anything too stupid. 
Okay, so we turn it on the fuel cock. Jeffrey uses the priming pump to force diesel through the fuel lines. Alright, see there's fuel coming out of those now. Ooh, there's fuel coming out up here too. What's that? Oh, up here. Ah, okay, up at that spot. Alright, loosen those and we should be able to turn it over and fuel should come out of there. Yes. Yes, yeah, just turn it turn it to run first and see if the, we hear the solenoid click. Okay. Uh, yep, it clicked. Okay. That's the fuel shutoff solenoid. Allows diesel to flow through to the injector pump. And that's how we stop the uh, engine when it started. Ready to go? Yeah, just crank it a few times around. <laughs> okay, go. Keep going a little bit. Ah, I heard, I saw a fuel spit out of one of them. Oh. Okay, so crank it around just a bit more to clear the... Alright, I saw fuel shooting out of all of them. So, so we, we made a repair. Uh, we think so. We need to tighten all these guys back up. So it, you could see it just shooting out each like one in time. All right. So assuming it's like the right time, which it should be. Um, then. So you th think we can actually try to fire it up then? Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to crank it up again, and we'll see it actually. It actually fires. Yes. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey. And that's good. It works. It never started that easy before. No. It never shot diesel fuel out the end like that before. I well before we got the pump rebuilt. Right. Great. So tremendous. Alright, and that's all buttoned up. We just need to mess around with the radiator now. Right. So I need to get a radiator shroud and uh, then we need to put it back together. Great. And we'll have a backhoe again. Yay. Thanks for watching Longleaf Sheep Hill Ranch. At the right, there's a link to a, a video about how we replaced the fan belt on the backhoe. Check that out.